Can you find a crack or a line that you could trace with your finger on the mountains? Can anyone see a ridge? Yeah. Ooh, trace that ridge with your finger. What do you think's inside those cracks and ridges? There's moss and some bugs in the cracks and ridges. Thumbs up if you agree that there might be some insects up there. Where do you think animals live in these mountains? Do they live in the forests and the alpine meadows like a black bear? Are they tiny enough to live on the underside of a leaf like an insect? Let's explore where these creatures live. Insect Habitats on this episode of Nature Why. The place where you live is your habitat. It has all the things you need like food, water, and a place to rest out of the weather. You may share your habitat with insects, but most need to live outside. That's where they find their special foods, water, and shelter. What are some things that insects need? Insects need food. Awesome. What kinds of foods do you think they need? Seeds. Maybe. Nectar. What do you think? Nectar. Nectar. Absolutely. What else do they need for food? Maybe they need pollen. Okay. Maybe they need pollen. Trash. And trash. I'm going to put that on here for food. They eat any organic rotting material they can find. Some insects are not picky eaters. Just like you, they are generalists, eating all sorts of delicious foods. Others are really picky eaters. We call them specialists. If you were a specialist, you would eat one thing, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and nothing but peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all day long. Or only carrots, and nothing but carrots. Do you think you would get tired of eating the same thing every day? Well, specialist insects don't mind it at all. Specialists can only live where they can find their special food, like a caterpillar that eats leaves from only one kind of plant. And it's not just food. Living creatures are specialized in all sorts of ways, from what they eat to where and how they live. What else do they need? Water. Water, absolutely. They need shelter. Shelter. Ooh, that's gonna mean something different for different types of insects. Where might you go if you needed a little place to rest or to hide from a predator? What do you think? And as an insect changes into each life stage, like a caterpillar to a pupa to a butterfly, it may need different foods to eat or different places to rest. What kind of insects do you think might live in this habitat? Not all lawns are the same. There are lawns with nothing but blades of carefully cut grass. And there are lawns with flowers that some would call weeds. Are they realize flowers are weeds? My dad tells me they're weeds and he kills them with weeds. You know what? But, it depends on who you talk to. But other people, like, um, but like you and the teachers here are saying they're flowers and it's confusing me. It is confusing. You know what? Let me give an example. People who are beekeepers, who raise bees, they want the dandelions around. They're not a weed to them. And it's not just honeybees that use dandelions for food. So many insects do, as they sip nectar and collect pollen. Looking around, I see flat grass, so pretty low to the ground, and I see really tall trees. So there's not a lot in between. We don't have a lot of tall grasses. We don't have a lot of bushes. We don't have a lot of flowering plants here. So we're not gonna find those creatures that live in the in-between areas. We're only gonna find things that live in the grass or things that live in the trees. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna cross our fingers that we can find a place with some flowers because that's where we're gonna see a lot of really cool insects. How is this space different than what we already saw? What do you think? Over there, um, back at the first place when we were tr trying to um, collect bugs by hand, the grass was dying and not as green and there are a lot more flowers here. The more flowers, the more butterflies up here. Yes. Everybody just turn your head, point to a flower. Where do you see a flower here? 
Okay, now point to a different kind of flower. Point to a different kind of flower. So if I were a butterfly and I eat nectar, I have to have flowers. Do you guys see some kind of in-between plants? So look at this. So it's not that really low to the ground, but it's not a huge bush. So this is gonna support a different kind of insect than like right here at the grass level. What else, Becton? The ground's not perfectly flat. Oh, the ground is not perfectly flat, exactly. We have lots of hills and rocks and all sorts of changes in height, very good. We're seeing all kinds of stuff here that we didn't see at the lawn at all. Can you find your own habitats to compare? Find a flat grassy lawn and compare it to a wilder place. Are there places for insects to hide in crevices or under rocks? Could a butterfly or a bee find some nectar to sip? How many differences can you spy? I caught one! For instructions on how to compare habitats, visit www.wyomingpbs.org slash naturewhy. Come join Science Kids and us at Wyoming PBS and head outside to make your own habitat comparisons in Wyoming. Thanks for watching.